Hello, this is Mr. McLeod, and I'm going to do a little demo uh, showing some of the uh, nuts and bolts of how to implement uh, the listeners that you need to implement for this uh, uh, GUI number four uh, grid view project. Uh, so, uh, first thing that you're going to need uh, is inside your listeners, you're going to need to be able to access uh, the model, which is a grid model object, and the grid pane, uh, which is your uh, Boolean grid pane object, uh, because you're going to need to be able to call methods on those uh, in the listeners. So we're going to make those attributes so that they will be in scope uh, in your private classes. Um, so let's call the, uh, uh, so let's make grid model uh, and remember that when you make a grid model, um, it takes a parameter. So this is uh, the point at which you're going to decide what this uh, T is going to be um, in this particular grid model. So we're going to say this is a grid model of booleans. Um, and let's call it, uh, uh, sorry, let's call it model. Uh, and we want to make it private because that's good practice. Um, all right, so we have a grid model, and now we need a Boolean grid pane. Um, so again, we'll say private Boolean grid pane, and let's call that uh, grid pane. Uh, okay, so we now have our two uh, attributes. And uh, then remember that uh, to be a Java effects application, it needs to extend application. Uh, and then we call launch passing the args in the main man method. Um, and then start ends up getting called by launch uh, internally. Passing the stage, um, which is your main window. All right, so this is basically an empty uh, Java effects application uh, that we've just added these two uh, attributes to. Um, so let's go ahead and set the title. Uh, so let's just say stage dot set title to uh, grid view demo and let's create a uh, so we're gonna we're not gonna recreate the entire uh, interface that or the uh, entire GUI that you saw in the previous demo because uh, that's part of, of uh, this assignment is you uh, setting all that up um, but we will uh, make a simple GUI that just basically has the border pane um, so let's start by uh, or sorry that has just the um, uh, boolean grid pane but we'll just put it inside of a border pane so we're going to create a border pane to be uh, the root. Okay, and uh, that one we're going to have to import the Java effects border pane, um, and then we can make a scene with that root. And here is where you could decide how big the window will start out. So let's go ahead and just make it 500 by 500. And uh, again, need to import the scene. Uh, all right, and then to initialize the grid pane, uh, make sure you don't say Boolean grid pane here because this should be your attribute, your grid pane attribute. So we need to just say, grid pane uh, equals new boolean grid pane okay so very important if you if you say boolean grid pane grid pane notice now this is no longer highlighted in blue because it's actually a local variable now uh, and then that would mean this one is still null and you'll get errors uh, later if you tried to access it you get null pointer exception so if you get that null pointer exception when you're trying to access model or grid pane 
there's a good chance that you did something like this where you declared it to be local instead of setting the existing grid pane, uh, boolean grid pane value uh, or attribute. All right, so we're initializing that attribute. And uh, in order to do our grid pane, we need, uh, if you look at, uh, sorry, in order to do the grid model, if you look at grid model, it has um, a only, it does not have a default constructor. It just has a constructor that takes a grid, uh, in other words, a 2D array of whatever value, uh, whatever type of value it is. So in this case, a Booleans. So we need a 2D array of Booleans in order to make our grid model. So let's go ahead and um, in your program, you will actually uh, read in from the file, right? Uh, using this format, uh, you will read in the Boolean values into a 2D array. Uh, but uh, when you're first creating your program, actually, you might even do the same thing where you just start out by just creating a 2D array and then do the uh, code that reads it from the file later. Um, so let's say boolean uh, data equals, uh, whoops, hold on, boolean 2D array of booleans data equals, uh, and then since we're uh, going to populate it uh, right when we create it, we can just uh, do that right here, and we can just make up values like true, uh, true, false. All right, so uh, to save a little time, I just uh, filled that in. Um, okay, so now we can initialize our model with that 2D array by saying uh, we have our model variable. Uh, but right now it hasn't been set to anything, so that's going to equal a new grid model. Uh, and remember that we said it needed to be a grid model of booleans. So we say grid model boolean, uh, and we pass the 2D array that we just created here data. All right, so now we have a model. Um, and then this is uh, something very important. Uh, you need to set the model for the grid pane. So remember we made a grid pane, uh, but inside of this grid pane, um, there's this method uh, set model and you pass it a grid model. And one very important thing it does there is that is where it adds itself as a listener for the model, which means now, after that, it will be informed whenever the model changes. In addition, it also stores a reference to its model, uh, which will allow it to set up the initial configuration of rectangles uh, in reset cells, which is right here where it goes through and initially populates the um, uh, rectangles with the correct values. All right, um, so going back here, we need to make sure that we call grid pane dot set model uh, and we pass it the model. All right, so then we need to add the grid pane to the border pane so we can say uh, root, remember that border pane was the root, dot, uh, set center, uh, grid pane. And then we can set the scene. So stage dot set scene to, uh, the scene. Oops. And show the stage. So stage dot show, that's what actually shows the window. All right, so if we were to run this right now, uh, it shows uh, what's in our 2D array, but it does not respond to events yet. So let's fix that now. Uh, so to respond to events, um, every uh, node, uh, every type of uh, object in um, 
at JavaFX uh, has these methods uh, called uh, like on mouse dragged, on mouse exited, and so forth. So we're going to look at on mouse clicked, uh, and we're going to set a class that implements the event handler interface. Uh, and it has to say what type this T would be like, what type of uh, event is it? And so the type, of course, has to be a subclass of event, or it could actually just be event. Um, but usually you will be more specific. Um, so uh, in the case of on mouse clicked, you can see that it's expecting you actually uh, to send either mouse event or a super class of it, but you're going to want to send mouse event so that you can get all the data that uh, is specific to mouse events. Um, okay, so let's go uh, here and make our class. So we're going to make a private uh, class like you've done uh, in the past to handle events. Um, the private inner class. Uh, let's call it uh, grid uh, mouse listener and so it needs to implement uh, event handler uh, actually so maybe we should call this handler it's going to handle uh, mouse events and so then uh, first it's going to ask us to import event handler, uh, but it looks like I imported it in a previous version. And then you would have to import mouse event. And then you'll need to implement the unimplemented methods, which it knows it's a mouse event. So it says mouse event there. And I'm going to call that E, just have to type less. Um, so one of the first things uh, you're going to want to do is, um, since you clicked on some square, you're going to need to translate the uh, position in the window uh, so if I click uh, like right here that's going to be uh, the upper left corner of this grid uh, pane is 0 0 and then uh, everywhere else that I click is some X and Y position in pixels inside of this uh, grid pane rectangle um, but I want to know which of these squares we clicked on so uh, there's a, a helper method for that in the Boolean grid pane, uh, which you have a row for Y position and call for X position, which will just translate uh, X and Y positions in the grid pane to uh, rows and columns. So we can say int row equals uh, grid pane dot uh, row for Y position e dot uh, get y so you notice actually there's a bunch of these y uh, values you can uh, uh, get and the one you want is just the get y um, that's the one that's going to be in relation to the uh, grid pane all right and then int uh, call equals grid pane dot call for x position e dot get x all right, now we can uh, say uh, take the model and set uh, the value at that row and column to whatever the model uh, get value at that row and column was, but then we're going to take the opposite of that, so it will change the value. Uh, now, if I ran this right now, it would not actually change anything because I didn't actually add the listener yet. So now let's go back up here and actually set mouse click. So grid pane dot set uh, on mouse clicked to a new uh, uh, grid mouse handler. And now I'm in business. So let's run that. And everywhere I click, it changes to the opposite. And hooray, that works. Okay, so you're going to be uh, taking what you learned here to create the rest of this program. 
there's also some previous videos that we made on how to do sliders and all that. So enjoy!